Here's how to use GPT-4 for free. So you can see I am currently on an AI website and it looks a little different from the typical ChatGPT4 OpenAI design that you probably are used to. Well, currently this one is called Forefront and you can see we have one model here called GPT 3.5, which is the current free version. However, take a look at this GPT-4 and they currently have this persona listed as helpful assistant. Now, this is a little different from the ChatGPT OpenAI design, and essentially they have personas. Now, personas is essentially somebody's idea, avatar, character, personality, and you can see they have a wide range of options here. Even some familiar faces like Joe Rogan, even Mario, Goku, and Superman, and all these other characters right here. Now you're probably wondering what does that even mean? But if you want to test it out, you can definitely choose a persona and then ask it responses to see how that interacts with. And also you can create a persona as well. But essentially what you want to do is go ahead and type in whatever you want to ask it. So the first question I always ask all these AI softwares to see if it's actually legit or it's just completely wrong is what day is it? So today I'm gonna say what is today's date? And then simply hit enter and then it's going to give back a response which is currently April 30th, 2023 which at the time of recording is the correct date. And so far we can proceed with the next step. So if you've ever seen my other videos on some of these softwares, I asked it the dates and it said some crazy number in like some year in the future that doesn't even make sense. So far, at least we can see that this is currently accurate. Now, if you've never used GPT-4, it's essentially in short a better response and typically it's written in a way that is easier to read and also if you use it for any complex problem solving coding mathematics it typically will give you a much accurate answer that gpt 3.5 simply could not do so for starting off let's go ahead and think of a response and then see how it goes and writes it out and then what i can do is actually compare it to chat gpt and also the other 3.5 version models just to see the differences so for example let's just say write a 500 word essay about an intertopic, let's just say physics. And then simply press enter and let's see here. So right now, it seems like this is another issue that people might not notice, is it's currently a free version, which means you are limited to five messages every three hours. And currently I have to wait 165 minutes. So you're probably wondering, what is the point if you only get five messages per every three hours? Well, that's the thing, it's free. So you can't be expecting too much, obviously. However, if you know exactly what you need to ask it, you can definitely ask it within those five messages and that would save you the monthly cost of original GPT-4. So we can actually go back to the new chat and then we can switch over to GPT-3.5 and ask it the same thing, right? A 500 word essay on physics. Press enter. And while that is doing it, you can see here, it's essentially writing it out. So again, the con is obviously with free software is they limit you on the maximum amount of messages you can include. But with GPT-4, technically, with current ChatGPT4, which I have access to, which I'll show you in just a second, it's capped at 25 messages every three hours. So, I mean, you do the math, would you pay that extra fee for a little bit, 20 more messages? It's up to you. But basically, we can see here, this is a quite well-written essay. And simply, let me show you the comparison with GPT4 real quick. So here, let's go ahead and compare how this new free ChatGPT4 version compares to the original OpenAI's GPT-4 version. And let's see the difference. So this was currently 3.5 because obviously it showed me the limit rate where I could only include five messages every three hours. However, I'm paying monthly for the 
unlimited or essentially was unlimited but now it capped it at 25 messages and now we can actually compare the difference so you can actually see let's do write a final word essay on physics so i'm gonna go ahead here paste this in and simply press enter and essentially you can see the difference right away the title it showcases it showcases uh this paragraph which based off of the first sentence it seems like it's much more concise and obviously i would have to read through every single line to compare it but just looking at the overall structure i mean unless you're a physics experts you might not notice too much of a difference but i can just tell already based off of the content and some of these things that they're describing it seems like a better or at least well written paragraph or essay and basically you can see there's slight differences it's hard to notice right away if you've never used gpt4 but if you use it for other things you can definitely definitely tell the difference right so let's go back to this new ai software again because i already know some people are gonna say oh the five messages that's ridiculous three hours is like what one almost basically every 45 plus or almost an hour per uh message which doesn't really make sense so this is the strategy if you currently want to use this you might have to test it out sometimes it's a little slow but basically you would switch to gpt4 and you would ask it the hard-hitting question what exactly you need and then you let it run and then you go and take that and add on to it so for example like this let me go here let's say you wanted to proofread something you wrote or write out an email or whatever it is where it requires a large amount of text so for example i'm gonna take this well technically i don't even need to copy that i could say simply rewrite this essay and change the persona to a physics expert and make it sound very intelligent so now typically if you don't have this previous message let's say you have this written out in like a word document or whatever you could simply copy this entire essay right here and then you would paste it into this messaging right here and then you'd ask it its question that way you can utilize the five messages accurately now if you have something for programming you can type in write out a full code and then it'll have the full list that it can maximize and then ideally i found at least with gpt4 is as long as everything you ask it is perfect to what you answer with then you can essentially utilize it within less than 10 messages five could be a little short if you're testing it out but still free this is a currently a free way to use gpt4 it's not an amazing you know infinite amount or even close to the you know 525 message you get from the original chat gpt but you can't really complain at that point if it's free now there are additional things you could do such as testing out the personas but since i'm currently maxed out at my five for the i believe it's three hours so far if i were to click on this for example let me click, click on pikachu if i can even click it and then it starts it's gonna say i'm still capped but at least it gives you the time for gpt4 on this one when you run out it, it sometimes it doesn't give you the accurate time it's kind of annoying but let's just showcase some of the other features that way you actually know what's going on because right now it's hard to showcase it when you're currently uh, limited and we actually see here too on this uh, updated version we can see it looks like it's more concise and well written and now let's go back and let's look at some additional features you can do with the forefront ai so basically this is on their twitter and you can see here they're showcasing the chat gpt and they do have the free access which you saw earlier obviously it's significantly lower but what's crazy is this is the coolest part is you can type in hashtag image and it'll showcase an image now if chat gpt for from open ai has additional features similar to that that's going to be incredible but take a look at this now you can see that is just one additional feature you can do and also there's additional ones in terms of the way your uh, chats are saved it has these like nice little emojis and basically it seems like a nicer easier way to read your progress your history etc now there's additional things that they'll showcase on their twitter for example you can see here 
we write this code and it has it automatically titled organized so you have your folders there but i think the biggest the biggest thing is people don't realize is just literally you can just switch boom 3.54 just like that pretty easy and then you can test it out with different personas so again as of now this is a free way to do it however it is limited to five messages every three hours so do share your thoughts what do you think is it even worth it or is five messages too low comment that down below and aside from that be sure to like and subscribe to see the latest updates in the ai space